I, I remember Wayne Rooney watching Flushed Away. Like, on and his did own. He, did he say you would never go to sale? And Ken was like, literally, nothing better. Twice the pleasure. <laughs> Guess what happened to me? All over the ground. I'll be like, what did happen? Uh, all four look eyes up. proposed. <laughs> <laughs> now look at me. <clears throat> Big top. Well, I, I think. I, I think as well. It's, it's. Hello and welcome to the Therapy Crouch with me, Abby Clancy. And me, Peter Crouch. We're back again for another fun session. How are we? How was the week? <laughs> yeah, Ab, Ab took me down basically to um, get someone Bristol. else's puppy. So now I've put a ban on the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> we now go and we our adventures are getting someone else's puppy. Yeah, which actually I'm all right with because I quite a, enjoyed it. It's a monumental day in your life getting a puppy. You know, Kaz lost her dog who, uh, 14 years um, before Christmas. It's a big deal. Like she's got a little boy, and you know that that bond is so important. So we, I, I had to be there mm. for the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, is this uh, Kaz of Tommy and Kaz? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was amazing was he's he got all like labs and like he's got working dogs. He trains them. Mm. That sounds like not David. not not um like, labs. Like, yeah, labs, like not scientific labs. Oh no, he hasn't got labs where he's like you know keeping dogs he's, alive. He's got these labs where he like clones Labradors. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, he's got, he's got Labradors. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they're amazing. These spaniels and he, they're like he showed me all, all what he does with them. Very interesting. Mm. He's got a lot of um, champion dogs. Did you pick up any tips with Jeffrey? Yeah, well, Jeffrey's Excuse me. pretty good, to be honest. I've trained him. Jeffrey very doesn't well. need any tips. That other thing, that on other the other thing, hand. Ralph. That other thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> Ralph at my San Laurent. So, not only is he at the Bottega boot, we went out um, the other night, the, the most incredible San Laurent shoes that I got. Incredible. Swarovski crystal black stilettos I left them at the front door and came down in the morning the dog had just ravished <laughs> both of them so I was cry crying over my shoes with a hangover it's not a great start to the weekend you sure it wasn't Pete setting them up yeah. the last week <laughs> yeah now Ralphie's walking the green mile <laughs> it was me yeah. I, was, I was chewing them <laughs> thing is with Ralph like I do <clears throat> I love him but he's like he like nips at your Achilles every time you walk oh, so it's like so he does right left right left right left the whole way downstairs <laughs> and the only way you get away is if you go upstairs yeah I'm like what is fun about that like I, obviously I love him now he's in but if we didn't get if we hadn't got him I wouldn't be getting my my Achilles like nipped out every he started walk. to bite my Achilles as well is that it's annoying isn't it so annoying yes. I was walking this morning, going to make a cup of coffee, and it's like, ah, what is that? Ralph's like that, like on each ankle. It's so hard. I don't know how he does it. Oh, he manages to get, like, as you're walking, both both ankles. I know. Same... Are you not proud of me going, going to, you know, the dog place and not coming back? There were so many puppies available, mm -hmm. and I didn't come home with one. I, do you know what? I think I'm done with my house getting wrecked. Well, thank God for that. So there goes the donkey sanctuary then? No, because they'll be outside. <laughs> so what dogs are you looking at? What breeds? So they have, he has um, spaniels and labs. Mm. And Kaz came home with a fox red lab, which is just gorgeous. That's what, you know, Alfie was. And, you know, she loves that type of dog. But I yeah, just... those little spaniels are quite nice as well. Mm. Quite like them. <laughs> you loved them. I did like it, I yeah. think you were more, you wanted it more than me. Well, yeah, I think Kaz's dog's beautiful. Mm. I've never heard of a fox red lab. Mm, yeah. Like golden or black ones, chocolate ones, isn't it? It's like, a gin it's like the same colour as Ralph, like a ginger. It's a ginger lab. Yeah. Isn't it? Sounds right up my street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else have we done? Um, yeah, I wanted to bring something up. You know, like, I was thinking about it the other day when we went to the water park with the kids. Yeah. Like, I've never seen anyone... Go to a water park and not get wet. I don't and know. Then, I don't know. You managed it. Yeah, so we went to um, get water on them. <laughs> yeah. See, in, in Portugal, it was torrential rain. Mm -hmm. Shock. And um, so we took the kids to the indoor water park. And I don't really like getting in that kind of water. What? 
That's it's just that, like piss, that, piss, piss Jamie. It is Jamie, isn't it? It's Jamie. It's Jamie, where you it's see fluting j- plasters and all that. There's no way the kids I are... I saw a plaster once in, <laughs> in the leisure centre. I can't. Yeah. A, a hair, someone else's hair on you, your wet foot. You see someone in a Veruca sock and like, that's it. I'm out, I'm out. Do you know what? I don't even think people are that... You know, respectful to wear a Veruca sock. Yeah. I reckon there's just rogue, loose Verucas <laughs> yeah. everywhere. <laughs> you know, bazooka that Veruca. <laughs> but then there's no way all of those kids are getting out to go for a week. Mm. No it's way. Just I'm what's not the, even what's the actual away? deal with Verucas? Like, what are they? <laughs> like, what are they? It's just. Um, it's just like it's a, a foot water. It's, 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 it's like an, a foot water. It's an infection. It's a contagious. Um, Wart-like infection on your foot. Yeah, I don't know. You don't. I don't really hear of them anymore. But then our kids do swimming. I don't really hear of verrucas there. No, they've never had a veruca. Thank God. Strange, right, isn't it? Mm. Oh, well, I thought you footballers would have been all over them. Well, yeah, no, I mean, rooms and all that. Yeah, well, we, they used to be fines if you didn't wear flip flops in the shower. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, because because of verrucas. Because of verrucas. Well, I I don't really know. I think Athlete just sports. hygiene Ooh. in general, really. Pete's got a corn. Oh, <laughs> all right, Nana Teresa. Oh, no. That's what I said to him. I said, Me, Nan, you still have corns. I walk on my nails, yeah. bizarrely. I've got a curled over f- foot. Yeah. And I've got this thing, and, because, and, and every month it kind of like, I get it come, becomes really painful. It's a corn. Yeah. It's yeah. called a corn. <laughs> you won't plasters. have it. Oh, no, he's a dab on the changing corn plasters, actually. I've seen, seen her change many of me, Nana Teresa. Mm. I can't. I what else got a what? <laughs> She's yeah. a dab and the changing corn plasters. Oh, really? You need a hand, yeah, you know where to All ask. right, okay. They're extremely painful, a corn, because it's like an, a spike into your foot. Wouldn't believe how painful it is. If I leave it for like six months, which yeah. I have done, <laughs> um, the pain by the end is, is absolutely phenomenal. What do you do? Get them shaved off? Yeah, he just like slices them off. He cuts it's it out cuts, at the root and it's like a big it hole in his foot. But the doctor said the best thing that he could do is to get his toe amputated. <laughs> I've heard, have you heard it? Which she, one? She says this all the time. So it's the one next to the big one. She says she don't need it. <laughs> yeah, that's right? true. So he said, if it becomes a real big problem, like the worst case scenario is get it off. And Ab has never, ever shut up about it. She's I... desperate for me to lose it. <laughs> Why do you want me to get rid of it so much? I just, think, I just think it'd be hilarious. <laughs> I like your feet though. You've got good feet. Yeah, so the whole water park thing, you know, I, 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 I am there. I am part of the family unit. Family unit, the family fun. But I'm not getting. I'm not, not get, going in. I'm not going in. No. No. Well, I quite enjoy it, the slides and stuff. It's all good fun. The thing is, what do you mind. do at an indoor water park if you're not on the slide? Because you can't even like supervise. Someday, you can just you just sit there. Supervise. Super, supervised fun. <laughs> supervised. I was just being lifeguard to the kids. Like Pete was off on the slides. I was at the little because Jack's too small for. He's going to be one meter twenty. He's one meter eighteen. Oh, every day. Every won't time even let him he goes in. and does that, puts his back to the thing, and he stands on his. Tip-toe. And it's not as if I can put a pair of heelys on him. <laughs> yeah. You know, like if you go to like Thor Park, the heelys are on. <laughs> you know, because you get another like three inches, so you're fitting on all the rides, but you can't really do that in a water park. No. A shame that for a minute it'll be there soon mm. and then mm. you'll have to come on them with us <laughs> I'd love to see just, rubber just, rings I don't like butterflies in my belly like I have them enough on a mm. daily basis I don't need them for fun they're not fun no them. you love butterflies water parks oh and theme parks <laughs> yeah it's good fun do you know you talk about verrucas right I just want to get into these audience wines um, there's a fella here have you not got a wine for me first? Do you want me to do one for you? Yeah. I've got two for you. You've got two for me? <laughs> wow. You better go first then. So my first wine is that surely the perk of the job being married to a footballer is you've got your ready-made football coach for the children. Here we go. However. He's got a world or three already. About this one. <laughs> He doesn't do a thing with them when it comes to football. And he (laughs) just says, he just says they don't, they're not into it. So I'm not going to do it. So last night I was in the bloody hall playing five aside. Well, three V two with the kids. (laughs) What? 
I so I'm teaching, I'm teaching my son how to dribble, <laughs> how to ball control, <laughs> freaking how to score goals. And while Pete's just sitting in the office, FaceTiming whoever you were FaceTiming. <laughs> I had a Zoom call to do and you took it upon yourself. I thought, what is that noise out there? I looked out and you were playing five a side with the kids <laughs> in the hall. Freaking and hell. Jo I don't know who was worse. Johnny said this morning that I was the best coach. Ah. You know, I just... But because I, I think the difference is, like, I just make it fun. You know, the coaching, the well, session. Well, am I drilling them too much, do you think? No, you don't do it. That's not true, babe, is it? Come on. That's you bought true. cones. They're literally all over the garden. The winds, like, blew them everywhere. <laughs> um, we haven't been out in the garden for about six months. Mm. It's pouring with rain. Mm. Where? Listen, I'm, I'm but, happy. But I just think they, just fully... they've, got, they've got to go and enjoy it. I think they need to fall in love with the game before I kind of make them do stuff. It's a process. Part of the process was to get the PlayStation so they could play FIFA. It, yeah. It's now end of Feb, March, and it hasn't been set up. No, it has been set up. We had it, and then you did the fucking floor. So then we had to uh, <laughs> rip everything up. We had, we've had no furniture. I, we haven't, I haven't had a seat. Haven't had the scart lead. Haven't, haven't, haven't had the scart lead. Finally got the hold of the scart lead. <laughs> And now it's set up, and it's been set up for one day. Yeah, but everyone, everyone comes and into I was the house the whole day. Everyone the... comes to the house, and it's like cannot believe the floor. Well, I'm so pleased for you. I love it as well. It's a fantastic floor. Thank you. But we didn't have any furniture, so like, there's no, we couldn't sit on anything, and obviously there was the PlayStation was in storage. So my wine number two. Oh. You know, you're saying it's a process. <laughs> you're saying it's a process, and you, you know, it. it it takes time and, you know, you've got to put this time into it. You've, you know, I'm just looking at the diary and you've got golf in every single day next yeah, I've Yeah, I've got a lot of golf Including in, so. the weekends. There's one weekend a year I play on a Saturday uh, when my mates who can't play during a week come down to see me. And it's fell on this weekend. Yeah. And what about the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday <laughs> and Friday? Nothing in Monday, nothing in Tuesday. There is potentially a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday situation. <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know, there's not one, not one little. You but know, like I, this, I, it's it goes in peaks and troughs. It's like some days, it's like in you know, some weeks, it's like all you and the kids. And all some, no, yeah, it is. Babe. You can't lump me and the kids together. It's like we only do stuff together if it's like with the kids. It's, you we know, do loads of stuff. We do not. We do loads when of stuff. When was the last time we went on a date? I was asking you to take me to see the Bob Marley movie. Yeah, and I said, do you want to go today? Do you want to go tomorrow? You should have said, no, we're not, we can't do today. Let's go tomorrow. No, I don't want to do that. So I'm, I'm asking you all the time. You want to do stuff. You kind of kibosh-ing me all the time. Who do you believe? Uh, <laughs> Did I ask you, do you want to go today? But we can't go today. Oh, right, right, We right, can't right. go today because we're doing this. Okay, but there's plenty of time. We, could we go tomorrow? Do you want to go tomorrow? We can't go tomorrow. Thursday, do you know what I mean? I've asked you if you like, I'm putting it to you. We're working tomorrow, so we can't go tomorrow. We can't do like a two nights away from the kids. I have it. That Bob Marley film is excellent, to be fair. Really? I went, I went to watch the Iron Claw the other day, you know, the new oh, yeah, that one. And I, I oh, went what's it pretty, like? I went in with pretty low expectations, I'll be honest, and it was friggin' brilliant. And it's a true story. Mm. I, I would say go and see that. Is it like The Wrestler? Yeah, yeah, with Mickey Rourke in mm. that one. Yeah, it's. Similar vibes, yeah, but it's like a true story about this like family wrestling dynasty, and it, I was crying at it. I was crying he died, it. didn't he? In it? No, well, he was the only one who freaking didn't die. Um. Sorry, spoiler. Alert. Oh, well. Really good movie, really, really good movie. I'm enjoying going to cinema. Lately. I went to see My Great. Seen that Migration? No, what's that? About? It's fantastic. <laughs> so did I. I was oh, there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I organised that one. That family trip. <laughs> you know what? I was totally disappointed about the meeting me and girls too. I mean, that's a bit rubbish. It was absolutely terrible. Did you go a bit woke about or something I heard? Yeah, it was too much. It was, was it? too much. That's mm. no good. No they're good. They've got to be mean. They're not mean. <laughs> <laughs> Surely. Don't you be a bit catty. Yeah, no, the mean-ish. <laughs> mean-ish. Mean-ish. Oh, mean-ish girls. <laughs> mean-ish girls. <laughs> it's no good, is it? No, it wasn't great. You it... go for it. you got to be go for it, haven't you? Mm. No, I agree. But Migration's fab. It's a kids' film. It's a cartoon about the, these ducks. One of the best I've seen. It's fabulous. Like one of the best kind of 
animated films I've seen for Do you a know while. what I'm really surprised about? Like how many adults really like kids films. I like, know, there was a couple behind us. A couple behind us. Yeah, unusual, isn't it? It's a mm. big thing at the moment. Like loads of adults go and watch kids films because it de-stress them. You say. say adults, weird. De- de-stress adults. them. Adults. 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 <laughs> de-stress them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like thing is, I, I obviously go with my kids or I watch them at home with my kids, but I, I, I do enjoy them. And I, I do get that, but I, I don't think I'd go. Pete was watches flushed away every yeah. day. Love flushed away. Kids. Good one, one of my favourites. <laughs> yeah. You look like the little mouse of that flushed away. What, Roddy, Roddy, Roddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rodney. I remember. Rodney. You know when we played with England, I I remember Wayne Rooney watching flushed away, like on and his did own. He, a few times. Did he say you looked like him? No, he just loved flushed away. He was like, "Have you watched this?" And I, <laughs> I was like. <laughs> and he's like, it's unreal. He had it on in the massage room a few times. And I actually, we all enjoyed it. It's not <laughs> my favourite film, Flushed Away, pretty good. at all. It's pretty good. Mm. Okay, do you want to hit me with a, a wine? No, there was there was one that happened last night. We're watching Kin, right, which we really enjoy at the moment, right? Oh, the, the new series, the new series of Kin. Oh, I've told yeah, phenomenal, right? I, like, have Alice, you seen the second series? No, Pete's only talking about it yesterday, but I want to start yeah, watching it. Oh. Really good, really good. But like, obviously, it's all a bit. It's a bit tense. Mm. But Ab um, was looking at, uh, apparently there's a sale on Netta Porter at the moment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I mean, I was deep, deep in, like really, it was like cliffhangers everywhere. And uh, every now and then I was just getting like a, a dress <laughs> whilst I was really concentrating and it was like that in my face. Um, you know, what do you think of that? And pr- the price of it. And I don't know. I don't know how you could kind of really enjoy something on the I'm telly. I'm a female. I can multitask. Yeah, but you say that, but you I'm don't. I'm not like you. You're, you're not going to get the enjoyment out of it. Oh, I am. Well, you won't. It's like a double it, whammy of enjoyment. So <laughs> Never bought a sale and kin. It's like literally nothing better. Twice the pleasure. I don't <laughs> yeah. Enjoy that. Double the fun. <laughs> that do you, was that actually double the fun for you? Yeah. I can't get it. No, I have. I, you recommend that to me yesterday. I'm dying to see that. Have you not that. seen series one? No, never. I hadn't even heard of it. Oh my yesterday. god! You're oh gonna, my god! You're gonna Is it Griselda or something? Everyone keeps going on about. Yeah, that's good. We watched that as well. It was good. Mm. It's not kin. No, put it that way. Griselda was okay. Okay. Shot, shot beautifully, but I thought it was good. Seven out of ten. Mm, not a seven for me. No. No. Oh, on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten Abigails. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten Abbeys. All right. Anyway, just just bear that in mind. I think I'm not. I don't want to see dresses. I was while saving I'm your something. money, lying with you. Saving me money. <laughs> I'm doing you a favour. Going I'm on this actually sale. doing you a favour. Yeah. <laughs> so you can be quiet. That is Abby logic. That. Does <laughs> you genuinely mean that? <laughs> I saved you loads because I was using my own money. <laughs> <laughs> saved you a hundred percent. Girls, players too. <laughs> We're going to get into some audience wines here. We talked about Verrucas a minute ago. Well, this person says, I wanted to whine about people who bite their nails. It's unhygienic, ugly to look at, and fucking annoying to listen to. <laughs> people have no qualms about doing to it. To listen public. to? Yeah. Like, the sound of it. Can't hear that. Yeah, you can do that. You just did then, yeah. <sighs> do you hate that as well? But I do, but I also bite my nails, so I can't complain. Can't really complain. <sighs> Well, people, it is one of those habits that seems to be okay. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't, you don't fart in public or pick oh. your nose, or I don't know. Do you know what I mean? But but like biting your nails, people do do that because mm. it's more of a nervous yeah. thing or like a kind of a pastime, not pastime. Well, how do you stand on like? Because that has to go somewhere, right? Swallowing it's disgusting. No one Flicking has ever disgusting. swallowed. Yeah, a so nail. What, do you, what are you going to do? Then flick it. Spit it out. <laughs> Spit it out. What? Just all over the floor. Mm. Well, that's 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 it. Yeah, it's disgusting. I don't bite. I put my nails Isn't in my hands. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That is actually disgusting. I put my nails in my mouth, but I don't bite them because that'll ruin. Break your teeth. Well, I, I, I have to say, <laughs> it's like... acrylic will snap my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, on trains, planes, and pissing automobiles, mm. whatever happened to the humble clipper and file at home behind closed doors? God knows what else these sickos do with their toenails. <clears throat> I saw a man. I was in the nail shop the other day. This guy came in with his wife. And just got, a, like, a manicure. A full manicure. Yeah, just, like, had his nails cut and his cuticles done and then buffed. And um, the girl who did my nails was like, he comes in every 10 days really? and gets it done. Where, where do you stand on that? 
I don't know. I but like, if I reckon you'd enjoy me coming with you. Yeah, I'd enjoy you coming with me. And, you know, I think it's a good thing to get your nails done, but it does spark a bit of serial killer <laughs> yeah. to me. It's a bit icky as well, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Pete sat there going, all right, girls. Do you know what I mean? Mm. No. Yeah, I do. I, do, I like, imagine you drove past and just <laughs> saw me getting a full on. No, because it, it, it's, it's, well, it's, it's a good you thing. Couldn't just do it like that, could you? <laughs> It'd have to be like <laughs> with the rollers in. <laughs> no, it's a good thing getting your nails like cleaned and trimmed and looking after yourself. It's like a nice thing. But what's going through his mind when he's like, "Oh yeah, I need to get my nails done on Wednesday." Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Not even painted or anything groovy on there. Just. Cut. Just cut. Do that at home. Makes yeah. sense though, doesn't it? Like really, like I know it's probably, I know it's a bit weird, but it makes sense, doesn't it? Mm. There's so many germs in your, in your hands. Is there? He's getting himself looked after, I don't know. But Could... nail biting now? No, not for me. Not into that. I've seen people clip toenails in the, the IC, you used to call it like the library, the uni library where they do 12 hour days and then they clip the nails and toenails in the library. So take your shoes, shoes and, socks and socks off. off a lot of people in would the sit library. in the library in the shoes and socks off anyway. And then some of them you'd see they'd be clipping the toenails. So that loads of times. Oh. Icky that, isn't it? I don't know. All right, I've got another one here, Someone to come up with like a little invent. Because realistically, when you're cutting your nails, it just falls on the floor, doesn't it? Unless you're doing it over in a nail shop. You need like the nail vision of, of like a ped egg. <laughs> Do you know it just goes down? You need like a squat yeah. box and <laughs> na yeah. a nail clipper. <laughs> That's exactly right. We need I mean, like a little net the on box. the clipper. Yeah. Get nailed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, here's another one. This one's about you. For starters, you always look amazing, but you never let it slip what, what your beauty products or where your clothes are from. It's top secret. Then you always tell us about these great gifts that Pete buys for you, i.e. the digital camera that goes straight on your phone, or camera roll, but you never tell us what brand it is. Uh, or where you got it from. Finally, you never gave us the name of that bloody Martina Cole book you read in Thailand. Loyalty. The camera. Is it, I don't know where it is. Pete took it and hasn't given it to me back. It's a Nick, It's a Canon camera, I think, isn't it? I'll put it on my gram, gang. Okay. Everyone's been asking me about that bloody Celine perfume as well, but it hasn't got a name on it. No. Just says Celine on it. Mm-hmm. Beauty products, clothes. What are you what are you sporting today? Where's that from? Oh, this is seven million years old. From thought you were going to say that. <laughs> God knows. Hey, yeah. it's it, brand it, new it is. Ever. It is. Where's this from? Pretty satin pajamas. Still got the label on it, but I've had it for like five years. I've never worn it. It's still got the label on it, but I've had it for five years. <laughs> I swear. You can't be a fucking idiot. I swear on your, I swear I on your life. I didn't come that nepot fucking order the other day. I swear on your life. <laughs> liar. I've just swore on your life. I've never worn it. Because I always put it on and take it off. I think it looks ridiculous and take it off. Yeah. <laughs> so I wish you'd have done that today. <laughs> but I've got, I've got no clothes. I can't wear a black polar neck again. That's all I wear. <laughs> you to look be, great though, babe. To be and honest. So does the man. That's what Amanda thinks. She thinks she looks amazing. She, she just wants you to share the love. I do need to do that. But to be fair, I haven't had a camera on my phone. I've got a new phone now. Which, <laughs> that was my weekly wine. I had no sig, no service for three days. <clears throat> so I had no network for three days. Mm. Um, and no one could figure out how to do it. Until Sam fixed it for me. So my old phone for... A year I've had no camera. Can I just say I've been like Bill Gates recently? <laughs> like, let's be honest. I've I've literally like I've done a lot of good stuff with technology recently. Like what? Well, I set up Sophia's phone. <laughs> I did yours until it had no network on it. I half did yours. But I transferred everything over, didn't I? Yeah. Like for me, I think that was pretty good. I think it's well, good. I was doing quite well. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Thanks, babe. No, it is very well, good. And he quattle. set the PlayStation up clearly, he said. Yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. I didn't do that one. I tried, but I couldn't do that one. I do need to tag my, you know, if anyone, you know, get a lot of people say, what lip colour you do wear and all that. So me and my uh, makeup artist, Helen, we'll tag them. Tag what we use. But, oh, um, great. Yeah. Make Can't sure wait. you don't tag me in any of that. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
by mistake. <laughs> No, I listen. You look, you look do look great, babe. You're Thank you. Fashionable. Thanks. Beautiful. Thank you. Hey, Abby and Cardi P. I'm not sure this Cardi P should be catching <laughs> I think on. That's the best. Nick I love it, Cardi P. Who called about you? No, well, I wish it was me. It was. It was me. No, someone. No, someone in the YouTube comments. <laughs> no, it was me. I, I, I came up with Cardi P. You can't claim Cardi I P. I did. <laughs> Genuinely. Okay. Let's put it to our listeners who come up with Cardi P. I am almost certain it was me. Okay. Okay. I mean, well, anyway, I don't want it catching on anyway. It's too ridiculous. Late. <laughs> I like <laughs> Pete, you get called Cardi P in every single episode of this. Well, I do now, yeah. But all I'm saying is like, can we, can we stop that? <laughs> I think it's a good nickname. I do, Cardi P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like, it's derived from the fact that I'm wearing cardigans. <laughs> it looks like I'm a good rapper or anything. <laughs> you are a good rapper though? We were just talking then, we had a minute break about what happened with our mates in Liverpool. Yeah. Do you want to share it or not? Yeah, so we, we'd we all been out the night before and come home, got a kebab. And then one of Pete's friends was eating the kebab and then... In the morning? No, no, well, shut up. <laughs> no, one of them... Sorry, I thought it was my story for a minute. I'm no. not with my pals. One of the guys um, was so drunk, like vomited, and uh. there was nowhere to vomit, so he vomited on like a leftover kebab. And then, <laughs> oh, don't it's just put this just on it. And then the next morning, Herman got off and started eating. <laughs> that is fucking disgusting. <laughs> that, is, that is horrible. Don't even finish that story. Eating the vomit kebab. Oh. And I couldn't get it out my, my mouth to tell him. You um, watched him? You watched him do it? No, I was like... My mate watched him. And he ate... <laughs> no, I watched him. Oh, my mate. And he ate the whole thing. And then if he told him that he ate the vomit. And he vomited it. It's <laughs> <laughs> in absolute bits over that. <laughs> Do you bark and stuff like that? Yeah, Could I'll you be sick of that? I John farted once in the cab and have, I got off the cab to throw up. <laughs> Is that bad? No way, really. Sheffield. A video? And you threw up? How could you see a video of a fart? No, it was him farting in the cab. <laughs> I can't believe you let a mate, a mate eat a vomit kebab. I didn't let them do it. You watched I, I was them. I didn't tell no, them. No, I wasn't that's, sitting that's there. I wasn't it. sitting there like that before it could come out my mouth. He was like, "Oh, I got up, starving, hung over, shoved it down his," <laughs> and I couldn't breathe to say it. <laughs> okay, uh, hi Abby and Cardi P, uh, long time listener, first time messenger on here, so please bear with me. Men's feet. Hmm. My God, we've been what is we've been verrucked verrucked up to our eyeballs today. Men's feet. I'm a proud mother of two teenage rugby mad boys and a husband of 22 years. Yikes! It seems that everyone, bar myself in this house, is nose blind. Every time my boys, husband included, come back from work or playing sports, they seem to find it totally acceptable to just ditch their shoes wherever they feel like, then parade around the house with their cheesy, stinking feet all over the place. Honestly, sometimes when I come home, I feel like I need a pair of goggles or a gas mask on. Thank God my house isn't big enough for a posh living room. I think I'd have a heart attack if I ever came home to them stinking it all out. How would you How would you deal with just, like, I'm thinking teenage boys and me, right? Say, they've, I don't know, they've all been playing football and then they come back... And you're you exceptionally no clean for a yeah, man. Yeah, but like I, I would tra when I trained, I would kind of obviously have a shower and everything at training ground and come back smelling all right. So you could say smell the roses. <laughs> no, smell all right, but like no, you but know, even... I remember when I was a kid, like teenager, or whatever. I'd you'd play a match and just walk home, yeah. and then yeah, just like I'd sometimes I'd play on the PlayStation or something, like that, <laughs> yeah. and I just had mud all over my knees from <laughs> just playing football. Not surprised. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like that's what that's what boys do. Well, you wouldn't because my boys won't be doing that. It's all about the rules of the house. If your mum allowed that, <laughs> my kids would just be getting marked sh straight up the stairs. Mm. No more. I used to strip Pete at the door when he come home smelling of canteen. <laughs> Couldn't bear it, could I? Mm. And I, I love that. I don't know. We're not a we're not a smelly family, are we? No, I'd just say that boys are smelly, right? right. You go through the, the that stage. that teenage grease? Yeah, that's what I mean. So what, how would you cope with that? Would the spotty you, grease? Would you not, it's um, like my art Sean's room. You smell like a rabbit hutch. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> a sweaty... It's not sweat. It's like a, it's like a grease. 
Hum. It's a hum. Mm. It's a dull, dull, greasy hum. <laughs> oh. A dull, greasy hum. It is. No, I'm not a big fan of cheesy feet. I've never met a girl with cheesy feet either. I think it is a boy thing. Oh, John had an ex-girlfriend <laughs> with the worst. <laughs> Of course he did. With the worst smell and feet. He always used to say that, didn't you? Yeah. I used to go in and like spray her feet with deodorant while she was asleep. <laughs> Can you imagine waking up yeah. and seeing her? I'll be with a roll on. <laughs> Painting her feet. Wow. It's not worse, I don't it, think. It's, it's like badly smelling feet. Is that just... Like is it is it a th like a thing? If you, if, well, do don't you tell me you've got no socks on today? Pete's oh, got no mate, socks on that's, in February. Uh, that's no, no, I'm not. Who doesn't wear socks with trainees? Me today. I don't wear socks and trainers. Don't yeah. Your feet must get so sweaty. They don't. Don't as well. <laughs> no, no, not with them corns. <laughs> right, we've had so many people get in touch about how to handle breakups and um, how to deal with it. Actually, divorce lawyer got in touch about some of the stories and maybe that's something we can do later on down the line what not us no not us i'm talking about get her on and talk about you know what it's like to break up and you know hopefully we never have to go through that okay so how justin bieber and Haley bieber make their marriage work okay ready for this does it work how do, how do we know that this works there's well, still it's groundbreaking stuff this <clears throat> Haley and justin actively commit themselves to be better partners and make sure to share to share their feelings openly. Can you believe that? <laughs> Is this fucking news? <laughs> That's news. Also, Justin feels comfortable, safe and secure at home with Hayley. <laughs> Beat that. She's the man of the like, house. Who writes... well, to me, mate, he's doing better than me. I don't feel fucking safe with you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> How can you say that you don't feel safe and secure at home with me? That is... Well, if I stand on the rug or the rim, I don't feel safe and secure yeah. at all. If I spill something on the couch, I don't feel safe and secure. If the dog runs in on my watch, I don't feel safe and secure. I don't feel safe and secure because you're always at golf. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. That's not true. Is it? That's how you make your marriage work. Is it? Don't, don't ever go out with each other. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't ever go out with each other. No, I, I just don't think that that... All that says to me with them is that that's what you do in a relationship. Oh, you know, of course you, you feel safe and secure with them. Otherwise, you wouldn't be with them. And number two, yeah, open up. Like, who else are you going to open up to? <laughs> <laughs> Your partner. Who, who wrote that as well? Is that a slow news day? Was e that, e was the, oh, E. The thing is, though, it took you a long time to open up. You weren't a, a very big feeling expresser. I don't know. I think that's that's kind of new thing, isn't it, for men to open up about how they feel. I was, I think, certainly being in football my whole life as well. You don't show. You have to be in a kind of macho world, and it? it's like don't show emotion, don't let yourself come across as weak, mm. don't outwardly show that you're feeling bad. Mm. That's something that I grew up with. Mm. So I thought. I do find that hard. Still, probably now. And but, now you've got a couple of therapy podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> now look at me. <clears throat> Absolute shitbag. <laughs> no, but it's part of like your life, isn't it? Growing up as well. You know, we were. I was always like very open, like in, in, as a kid, like very vocal and open. And yeah, but I, I think know, I did just... it as a girl's thing. Like, like I would never call my mate and say, "Oh God, feeling shit today." But would you? You wouldn't even call your mum and dad and say that, though, I would you? Call anyone? No. I'd call my whole family well, and all would, my yes. friends. I know you would, but like even now, I feel like I'm better at this now mm. than I was, but I still wouldn't do that. I'd mm. still deal with things on my own. I'd do anything for love, but I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm pretty open with you, like... Now you are. God, mm. it took me years to get not, you to not, open up. Not completely. Like, I wouldn't... If there's certain things, but you can tell. I can tell when something's You kind of drag it out yeah. And then I will persecute him yeah he tells me. <laughs> yeah you'd, you'd you'd make sure what's the matter you what's the matter yeah you would yeah because you do this or like aimlessly <laughs> wander around the house we yeah that, walk up that. and down yeah you just wander you can't settle yeah well you know what we're not all the same and that's what is incredible so this is like a couple's 
relationship therapy life therapy podcast is it but, you know <laughs> well that's that's what we market it oh, as right, right. Off the tongue. <laughs> well hopefully we're uh, <laughs> it's a podcast of one a podcast of one yeah like in that genre yeah of yeah. Uh, relationship therapy uh couples life therapy. couples life therapy. <laughs> couples life therapy lifestyle <laughs> like link subscribe <laughs> No, you know what I mean. Well, yeah, listen, you know. We're just, we, we're, we're just here, aren't we? We're, we're just available. here. We're just talking about our relationships and I think people are relating to them and hopefully we can help in some way. Mm. Mm. But there's are plenty of people that are s not in relationships. Yeah, there's so, so many of our listeners are, are not in relationships and they're asking our advice. What about your friend who had a, like, a divorce party? Are you into that? Yeah, hell yeah. Are you? It's not a hell yeah, it's a No. What? Uh, it's my new it's my new motto that I go by. Live yeah, by. I've heard that a lot from you. <laughs> I stole it from Margot Robbie. Did you? Yeah. What I just think again? it's a really good saying. If it's not a hell yeah, it's, it's, a, no. it's, it's a really good decision making tool. No matter what it is, it, it, it's a decision making tool for any walk of life. Cottage pie or spug ball? No, it doesn't. It's, <laughs> no, it, it has to be one answer. No, it's should it I do this? One, it's a Isn't should it? I or should not? Oh, and so it's, nice. you can't say spag ball or <laughs> what did you say? Shepherd's pie. Yeah. Shepherd's pie. I hate it. Shepherd's pie. So dull. So you dull. hate shepherd's pie. Just reminds me of like Wednesday when I was a kid. Do you know what I mean? Have you not tasted my shepherd's Mid pie? Midweek minimal effort. <laughs> minimal effort. It's a lovely, it's a lovely bit nutritious. <laughs> Nutritious, healthy. My shepherd's pie is. I love it. I love I it. I have a packet of coconut noodles. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, wait. Well, that's your second best meal. <laughs> <laughs> we had that last night. <laughs> Fucking chicken noodles. <laughs> Never again. Do you know? No, instead of making the kids like just normal noodles, I got an organic chicken, roasted the fucking chicken. Wow. What? No, not wow. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I could have just easily just given them. Bloody chicken nuggets or something. No, the noodles, Ross. Oh, no, I could have easily just given them the noodles, but I, I spruced it all up with low, like carrots, mm. spinach, onions, chicken, and they were like, what is this? And I'm oh. like... It's a thankless task being a mother. It's a thankless task being a mother, yes. Exactly right. And a wife. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so... What's that mean? I'm joking, I'm joking. If it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. Mm. Should I buy this dress? Hell yeah, you get it. If you're um and an iron, it's a no. So yeah. if it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. Get mm. it? I get it, I get it, I get it. When I go through my wardrobe in the morning, I see all my cardigans, I think. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not a hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's a no. You know I mean? So funny. I, went, oh, I was going to go for the brow one today, but... <laughs> I that want, tan yeah. hooded thing needs to go. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's like a little bit of freaking deer Do in you that? know the problem? <laughs> Do you know the problem with that? Bambi on ice. Do you know what the problem with that is? I fucking picked it. Yeah. That's yeah. why. If Unless she's picked it, it's absolute it was, complete I was laughing of your head off yesterday. So I got all this ski stuff from Perfect Moment. Mm. We were supposed to go skiing at half term, but we couldn't make it work. Um, Pete was trying it on. And... Um, he went into the dressing room and you know that leopard print cardigan that he's got? No. He's got this black and white leopard print cardigan um, <laughs> that he wore for a golf trip and he went, he put that on and went, God, this goes with this, doesn't it? I can, I can wear this in skiing. I was howling, <laughs> laughing at you. So funny. Fuck your micro fleeces, I've got a leopard skin cardigan. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> But I could quite easily sit here and say, you've got like PVC pyjamas on today <laughs> and like, you know, have a go at you. <laughs> this is why it's been in the wardrobe for five years and I've never well, worn would, it. I wouldn't say that. I've got no clothes yeah. at the moment. I can't wear a black polar neck ag again mm. and jeans. That is my go-to wardrobe. That is my go-to look. A commando black bodysuit. Nice. I've got about 20 of them. 60 pound. They're from commando, yeah. Anything commandos all right with me. Um, and jeans. And I look exactly the same every day, but it's comfy. It works. We haven't Ish. seen the unitard in a while. Is that still going? No, because you... Baby grow. Took yeah. the piss out of you. You look gorgeous <laughs> in the baby grow. PVC pyjamas. So that's what you've thought the whole time. No, just literally just came to me. No, now. you don't look PVC. You look satin. 
It's silk and I haven't <laughs> worn them before. That's why they've still got the label on the five years it's old. Not nice. I'm not even clothes. joking. It's clothes, is it? No, I don't no, care. Like, no, yeah. I didn't realise. Boo Avenue had a sale on half. <laughs> <laughs> that was Boo Avenue. <laughs> I used to love Ethel Austin's. Me too. Oh. Austin. Do you remember Ethel Austin? Yeah, yeah, I know. I Get know. lost in Ethel Austin's. Yeah, is that oh. like a Dorothy Perkins I've, I've, type I've been lost in Ethel Austin's. <laughs> yeah. It's not like Dorothy Perkins, no. No, no, no. So you just got the pyjamas and knickers and vests from Ethel Best. Austin's. Yeah, Slippers. I've definitely heard of that. There used to be one on Allenton Road opposite Crichton's. Oh, did there? Mm. I've, you've been in there. Oh, I. Yeah, you mm. have. <laughs> Ethel's. How did I forget? Must <laughs> <laughs> have slipped my mind. Go get some thermal vests from Ethel's. Oh, oh I just like a thermal vest. <laughs> to wear them under f f football before they did all the skins. Yeah. With a little thermal Old vest school. on. Oh, I used to love a thermal vest. Can't go wrong with I used to wear them one. in senior school. I was flat chested till I was 15. And then mm. they just come out of nowhere. Did they? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, looping back around to the divorce party. <laughs> what was yeah. that, that yeah, you talking like, about? I don't know how I feel about a divorce party. I think keep it low-key, I would, but I think unless if it's a woman scorn getting angry and like trying to post it everywhere, then it's like they're having a go at their husband, you know, I think. It's just the first go-to attack, isn't it, John? What? A, a man saying a woman scorned. No, I think I think <laughs> like it's it's aggressive, isn't it? I think. Having a divorce party. I think it is. Not it's my, like, I don't think it's anything you should be proud of. It's like, it's a bad, it's a bad what's happened. I think having a party. And well, a... if you were married to some loser who you hated and he was finally out your life, it's a call for a celebration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. AKA divorce party, <laughs> I'd say. Yeah, that's true. But if they've just parted ways, I don't think you should have a pie about that. But I think when you're getting divorced, most people hate each other at that, at that stage. It's okay. not that uncommon. Like, I'm looking at you. Kim Kardashian, Robin Thicke, he had one. Uh, Robin Thicke? Yeah, and I'm sure... He I think it's a bit dumpy. weird he men the, doing it. The... What about during the <clears> divorce <throat> party? Um, can you think of any good breakup songs that make you your breakup playlist? The thing is, nothing breaks like a heart, does it? <laughs> you know. Is that another Margaret Robbie quote? <laughs> no, it's not. Full of quotes today. Nothing it, breaks like a heart. Nothing's worse than heartbreak. <laughs> But you get over that. Like it's it's like state. It's like mourning. It's like yeah, stages it like grief, of grief. So you'd start with you know, like it's the like low. the panic, the the denial, panic, heartbreak. Then getting back out there. Mm. I suppose if you break up with someone that you loved, and they've they've kind of broke up with you, that must be one sided must be love. It must be is hard. probably the worst. If you get someone just ends it and you thought you were happy, that must be hard. How, once you get over it, right? Once you are, you've split up and stuff. Where do you go from there? Do you get straight into it? Do you mourn for a bit? I think I think everyone's diff different. I would like to think I wouldn't. Well, I, I'm relating it to me, but you know, my friends who have had relationship breakdowns, I will encourage them to, you know sort yourself out, get back on the horse, get back on the dating scene, you know, a bit of a, what, what is it, like a breakover? Break a what? Is it called a breakover? <laughs> I've never heard that. It is now. Isn't it called a breakover? Sense. Yeah, so you have like a makeover, but you've broken up, so it's a breakover. I so, like it. Breakover? <laughs> we'll go with that. You heard it first on, on the therapy crouch. <laughs> you it's, probably didn't. I don't know what probably the technical name is for it, but you know, because people normally get the haircut, don't they, or diet, you know, get to the gym. Have a bit of a breakover. Breakover. <laughs> that sounds weird, but yeah, great. Kind of like it. Yeah. yeah. Breakover. Tattoos. Yeah. People get tattoos as well often. Do they? Yeah. No, people it's get right. a tattoo and then split up. I think they're a bit. No, couples tattoos are a bit of a jinx, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Do you think? I do. Don't you? I've seen those ones. Like I've seen a few pictures of my where they've friend. Got, like the name crossed out, oh. and then another one underneath. <laughs> like a list. And then another one crossed out. <laughs> My cool. friends, I that tattoo fixes. my oh. friends fella had his ex-girlfriend's face tattooed over his whole abdomen. Oh my God. So obviously when they were intimate. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to bonk beats. <laughs> when they had the bonk beats on, like she was staring at his ex's face. Wow. What, he didn't get it removed? No, it's his whole body. His whole body is <gasps> the ex's. 
Wow. He must have been really happy. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? He's having a full threesome. He, really, know, no, he, must, yeah. he must have been really... <laughs> <laughs> must have been really happy to get someone's face that big. I mean, at that mm. time. Mm. Already lost a really big best. It was like, you know, one of them cars? Do you remember that car show in America? Oh, like Pimp My Ride. Pimp My Ride. No, whether you have like a, the kind of like graffiti, like baby's face on the thing. Like, he, Did Bruce like, C say had that, didn't he? He his, had his daughter's face on the bonnet of his car. I wanted no that way. so bad when I was young. What's someone's face on the. My own face no. on my car. Alexis Candice. <laughs> You know, like just full pimp my ride, like with the graffiti, with like all stars and my name and graffiti and me. Did you? Caricature of me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That when you wrote to Snoop Dogg? I wrote to Ja Rule. Ja Rule. Ja Rule. <laughs> yeah. I think it's hard because, you know, my friends who have broken up with their guys or girls are an older generation. Mm. So, you know, they met when they were like dating or whatever, they were, there was no you know, dating apps and social media, they were literally going to a bar and getting chatted up or... Vice that must versa. be strange, like having a relationship, long, long-term long relationship, and then coming out of it and then all of a sudden having these mad, like, apps that you yeah, can Yeah, it's, it's a new... It's a completely different era of dating, isn't it? Yeah. The world at your fingertips. Literally. Literally. I don't, I don't know how... I, I don't know... Am I thinking about it? <laughs> no. You went, mm. Swipe left or right? I was just thinking, was thinking of like Sounds a gag good. to go with it, but I failed. <laughs> well, glad that's put me at ease I was thinking anyway. sort of like under the thumb, at your fingertips, oh, under the thumb. Yeah, but does anyone swipe with their thumb? Yeah, I think you do, don't you? You're like that, aren't you? Oh, uh, so I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how do you? <laughs> you can swipe no, with your. You, you, be doing that, you can you? swipe with your thumb because your phone is small. I would, if I was swiping, I would. I'd would be swiping with my thumb, wouldn't you? You would do that, surely. Yeah, she's but it's, it's having the confidence to get, get back on the horse after you've split up, because a lot of relationships that end leave a lot of psychological and emotional damage mm. and trauma, and it you know might put people off. Yeah, I think you need a while afterwards, don't you, to kind of process a little bit. I think I, I would wait. I w you know, I don't want to be it's on the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> Seen that new J-Lo no. bloody film? I don't want it. It's mental. No. What's it about? Being, a, uh, being on the rebound? It's like, a, it's a musical. Is it really? Thing. Yeah. I, it's a musical. Like, so every scene is like, it must have cost millions to shoot every scene. Like, just in this glass house, there's all dancers and there's relationships and you can see them all. And every part of the story is a song. She, like, funded it all herself. But she talks about, you know, making, like, bad decisions when you're on the rebound. Oh, really? I also heard on the radio today someone talking about that film and oh, yeah. saying that a hummingbird... Yeah. Came on the top of the car and she knew that that was the direction she wanted to take. <laughs> she, take from that what you will. I don't know what you mean. Well, I didn't know what... what, what so basically, the, the start <laughs> of the movie, she tells us uh, like an old Better story. Better aliens on the fucking bonnet anyway, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God, did you see? Did you see that article? Yeah, fucking Peter yeah. Andre. She sets the scene with this about, you know, this... Old story a mum used to tell her when she was a little girl. She had a mum told her a thousand When she was times. on the block. When, she, when she's in the block, yeah. And basically, it was two forbidden lovers and they the emperor cast a spell on the girl and turned her into a red rose. And then the man tried to save and cast and turned him into a hummingbird. So the story oh, so is... there is a hummingbird involved. Yeah, so, so whenever you see a hummingbird fleeting from flower to flower, the story is that he's looking for his true love. As a flower. So that's how she sets the scene. <laughs> I only did 20 minutes. Like, okay. But I'm like, uh. Belting them, was it? <laughs> no, because I had to go to the, I had to pick the kids up from school. I was packing oh, yeah. my bag and put it on in the background. That's was on, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I put it on in the background. But yeah, like, I think oh. having the confidence to get back out there, even if the method has changed. But I, I, I think there's nothing better than getting all done up mm. with your friends, feeling good about yourself and... Hitting the tail. Hit in the town and hopefully get chatted up or chat someone up. Girl power. You make that first move, sister. Get in there. Wait for you. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, let's get into a few agony abs, all right? Uh, hey, both. I already know uh, I'm going to get hammered by Abby on this, so I might have to be one of Peter's pickles. <laughs> What's that? Agony abs and Peter's pickles. <laughs> Get it. I'm in a pickle with Pete. Oh. Uh, Pete's pickles is good. I like it. Maybe he could just give his advice on this. Uh, to be frank, I'm not a big animal lover. Oh, Why anyone would choose already. to bring something into their home, feed it, keep it warm, only oh. to have their generosity returned by having a molting, barking, chewing shit machine wreck their places beyond me. I'm with you here, mate. Um, <laughs> what I will say, though, is what people choose to do in their own homes is their choice. It has no Im impact on me personally, which is the mantra I've lived my life by so far. However, when it does affect me, it's when the company I work for, one of these typical young tech startups, trying to do everything they can do, if the office is filled with Gen Zers, decides to implement bring your dog to work policy. John, <laughs> this policy offends me on two grounds. A, it's discriminatory it to every other animal. I somehow feel that if we were to develop a passion for snakes and spiders, they would uh, be less welcome on our thirsty, thirsty Thursday drinks. And B, I don't fucking like dogs. <laughs> I now have multiple meetings a day ruined because they spend day, all day barking at anything and everything. I have to keep an eagle eye on my lunch as the scavenging scruffs will eat anything left at my desk at desk height. And finally, have you ever smelt a dog's farts? I've been racking my brains for a sensory equivalent of what I can compare to smelling a dog's turd whistle in a confined office space. I honestly think uh, there, are, there aren't any. Meaty. If work gets out, I've tried to get this policy reversed. I will essentially become a social pariah in the workplace, but something has to change. Pete, any advice? I'm on the fence with this one. Well, I like it when it suits me, <laughs> yeah. but when it doesn't, if I'm it's like, your dog, leave your fucking it's... dog at home. <laughs> <laughs> if it's your dog, it's fine, right? If it's not your dog, it's not fine. No, to be honest, I I I love pets. I th I think. <sighs> There's nothing better than a pub that allows, or a shop that lets you bring in pets. Mm. You know, they're, go they're gorgeous pets. Yeah, but they're you, just you say lovely. That, but it's in the workplace, right? If you're bringing it into the office, like, you've got to be the boss. Otherwise, you know, there's people that might not like animals. Oh, yeah, I'm not having some them. intern bringing an Alsatian in. <laughs> she can piss off. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? But What I'm saying is, like, you know, why, why is a dog any better than a rat? If yeah. I had a pet rat. Oh, Pete. We saw a rat this morning. Uh, run across the yours? road. No, not in mine. <laughs> yeah. In the train station. In the train station. That's revolting. Yeah, but what's wrong? Like, if I like a rat and I, I want to bring it in, what? If you say, well, you brought your dog but in. the scientific proof, the scientific evidence that states being around animals is better for your mental health and makes you happier as a human being. Mm, I wouldn't be that happy to use a pet tarantula in here right now, or a snake. Yeah, but that's not a dog. <laughs> Did I say pet? Animal, you said animals. Um, pe do dogs, dogs and cats. Mm. I, I, there's something nice, I think, about having a dog around. I'm not like a huge animal person, but I like the dogs are nice. You know As mean? if you're not a huge animal person. Not really. Like, I wouldn't have them if if I wasn't with you. Well, you. <laughs> I wouldn't have anything. <laughs> Say, that Say that again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's groundbreaking for you, but I, I literally, I probably wouldn't have anything. Though. I mean, I wouldn't have one. I generally wouldn't. Well, that's that's put me off you a little bit. Was it? Mm hmm. No, because you did say the other week if he, if he was single and he had a cat, you'd be put right off him as yeah, well. Yeah, so I can't win. <laughs> I can't single win. with a dog is sexy. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it is. I don't know. I single so. with like a... You'd hate my dog. If you came around my house <laughs> and I was single and you came around for the first time, you'd go, fuck off. <laughs> like Annoy, he's got an annoying dog. <laughs> a French bulldog. Yeah. I don't like them. I don't like them. Exactly. I'm sorry. Exactly. exactly. You don't like French bulldogs? I know that's Whatever, a terrible thing like, to say. There's no way. If you went round some fella's house, right, you only want to see him. You don't want to see his dog that you didn't get. 100%. No, but a man with like a well-trained German shepherd. You'd hate it. I wouldn't. You yeah. would. You would hate it because you didn't. It wasn't part of you. That's so it's not like, nice. If, if well, it was your ex-girlfriend's dog. Yeah, yeah. You'd I'd hate, hate it. it. Yeah. Why is that? But I wouldn't hate you. 
uh, to be honest, Pete, I don't hate any animals, so I wouldn't. You would. If it I've was my ex girlfriend's dog, week. you'd look at it, you'd hate everyone. Lib wants a ferret. <laughs> Found a sanctuary in Surrey, ferret rescue. <laughs> so we're going to go there and see if we don't get molt, like, bitten by one. Don't get a ferret. Fuck off, a ferret. Absolutely no. <laughs> you know, that'd be out the cage, you know, about two seconds flat, and you'd never find it again. And it'd be living in your house, living in it. What do you mean? If you bought a ferret home, I'll guarantee it'd be fucking. E it would lose. We'd lose yeah. it. <laughs> no, there, there's a ferret sanctuary. Lib wants a ferret. There's, Why is there a ferret sanctuary? How for many people, ferrets are going, people are get they, them and realise the shit pets and give them. Is that what they do? Just, do they? Oh, I don't agree yeah, with because that. Because apparently they bite, do which are. puts me off. My next day, no neighbour Tansy. She used to have two ferrets. Did you? They're from for five. Wait, in London? No, 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 in Boxery, in Liverpool. And what and what were they like? They were all right, but they, they were nippy. They do bite, yeah, and they, they were rapid. One minute you're in your hand, the next minute they're like up your coat, down your trousers. <laughs> I used to always ask like to bring them round. <laughs> <laughs> Tansy, you can come, but only bring the ferrets. <laughs> Any gerbils? <laughs> Any, <laughs> Any gerbils? <laughs> no, I th I think I think. I would say yes to pets in the in the workplace. Uh, if anyone doesn't like the pet, they need to be fired. No, no. I think that you can raise it, you know. You know, go and speak to the pet police. Pet Probably got them these <laughs> or days. Or you work from home the day that they come in and just swap. Simple. Oh, it's, it's all just a big like, uproar, isn't it? Just don't bring it in. <laughs> yeah, but will you want to leave a pet on, on its own all day? Well, that's, that's the part and of And there is scientific evidence to... There's like cat cafes and stuff like that now. Yeah, there are, there are actually, yeah. Just go and have a little play. <laughs> All right. He thought he was going to get hammered by you, but you didn't really hammer him, did you? No. You can see his point of view. He's not into the dots. You know, I read this dog. really wise quote the other day. <laughs> You're full of them today, aren't you? <laughs> Freaking hell. <no. laughs> you say never trust a man... Or never trust a person that doesn't like animals, mm. that doesn't like dogs, but always trust a dog who doesn't like a person. Wow. Groundbreaking. Interesting. <laughs> Episode title in band. <laughs> Interesting. Have you ever seen it when someone walks in, the dog just goes mental at this one person? You're like, what? Because they can smell it. They can smell the badness. Hey guys, hoping you can both help me out as I'm getting so stressed uh, out about this and I feel like I can't tell anyone close to me uh, as they will not be able to give me an unbiased answer. After years of fighting for my seat at the table, the firm I worked work at has finally given me the promotion I deserve, albeit about five years too late in my opinion, but that's another issue. Uh, the promotion would be life-changing for me. Not only is it a hell, hell of a lot more money than I'm, than I'm on now and a whole load of other benefits, it would be on my CV forever. And I could genuinely change the course of my whole professional life. Wow. But there's one small snag. The new role is based over 3,000 miles away in their new flagship office in New York. <gasps> Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Not only do I uh, not know anyone who lives in New York, but I also have a boyfriend from Grimsby. Fuck him off. Uh, oh, fuck him off. <laughs> fuck him off. <laughs> wow. Get yourself to New York, <laughs> girl. The Big Apple. Who's Meet idea of great people. <laughs> Who doesn't extend much further than going anywhere in Europe uh, that Man United might be playing. Ugh, the, definitely get rid. The initial posting at this job is only for six months, but if all things go well, I have the option to move there on a permanent basis. I know that uh, if any of my friends and family, they will tell me to cut my losses and run, but I also feel really bad about the prospects of going and likely ending our relationship. I know what uh, we could try long distance, but personally, I just think this makes two people half miserable at the same time. I should also add, I Good was very happy with my actually. boyfriend up until this point, and we've been living together for the past year, so it's pretty serious. I'm pretty confident he would never leave uh, his beloved Britain behind for life in the Big Apple, but I also haven't uh, asked him yet either, because I know once I do this, um, it's going to lead to a lot of shitty conversations. What should I do? If it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. So the, you... I, I think the fact that she's having these conversations with herself... Well, she likes him. ...already... No, she knows that. Yeah, but she's is she is she, what I worry about with these things? Is she going to resent him later down the line mm. when he kind of 
Matt Ginny gets more relaxed and he's a bit more yeah. like a, a little yeah. bit more comfortable and no, she's got to go she no? starts I could have been anyone oh, I could have been for you <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. how many times do you see that yeah. I could have been anything it wasn't maybe. for you I stayed with you yeah. did you end up kind of resenting that person because you've turned down your dream job it's so hard to not look at these situations as a mother mm. instead of a girl in love well, I don't think these have got kids. No, I know. I'm talking about myself. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm putting my. I'm putting myself in that position, but I can only come at it from a mother's perspective. As in, if that was my daughter, been offered the dream job in New York, I'd be like, go for it, do it. But you know, we've all been there. We've all been in like desperate, desperately in love, and it's it's you know it's a dilemma. Well, if you we know, if uh, we didn't have any kids and stuff like that, like. And you were like, and I, live I in New York. and I said, <laughs> and I said, there's no way I'm going to New York. Would you go? Yes. That again? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. No, sorry, say that again. <laughs> say that again. If we didn't have any kids, we would just start. We were going out for a year. We moved in. We were in Audley Edge, and you said, I've got this unreal job, like in New York, and I was still playing football, so I couldn't go. And you were. Uh, Modeling for someone in New York, I don't know, like who's your favorite person? Walmart. Ever. <laughs> you know, <laughs> my kids are obsessed. They just want to go to Walmart. <laughs> you were, you go got your dream uh, job at Target. Target, Target, <laughs> Target, Target. So, no, you know, like come on, you're in New York. You set. I'm setting the scene here. Well, I am a wimp, so I wouldn't be going anywhere on my own. Dream job or not? I kind of knew you'd say that because you didn't want to hurt my feelings, really. But Pete, I can't even st stay in a hotel without. What I'm saying is, it's 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 a dream dream scenario. She's worked so hard to get to this point, and yeah, she loves him, and she just want to go. Mm. Is she going to resent him if she doesn't? That will happen. I think you've got to take the job, surely. There's other fellas in freaking New York, isn't there? Surely. Um, ah. Do you know what I mean? It'll be long. It'll be a but afterthought. I think, I think if he really loves you, then he, he'll know that. I hate that thing. If he loves you, he'll let you go. No, Fuck I'm off. not saying let you, don't you go. Don't let anyone go. You love. I'm not saying that. I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say if he really loves you, he'll make the. He'll come he'll and go. or like you'll make it work. I was going to say if he loves you, he'll let <laughs> you go. Don't you hate that saying? Well, I would never have said that. I know, but don't you hate that saying? Yeah, well, it's a load of bollocks. Let's be honest. It's total bollocks. Then let someone go that you love, do you? No. Well, that's your answer. You don't let them out your sight. For one second. <laughs> but if you get the opportunity to go to New York, you fucking take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think she. I think she's got to go. Try it out. But that's interesting. An interesting point about the long distance thing. You're both half miserable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She needs to rip off that band aid. Get. Get yeah, there. rip off that Veruca socks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck with that one. That's a tough one. I've yeah. got to say, that is actually a tough one. I, I think that's hard. Do you want me to read one? Yes. Hey, Pete and Abby, loving the pod. So my dilemma is that I'm in my late 30s and struggling with my self-esteem. I need glasses all the time now and I don't like my new look. I'm looking into laser eye surgery and my girlfriend of five years is supportive of this. However, the cost is roughly 4K and I feel guilty using all of this money on something considered as selfish when it could be used for things like us getting engaged, for example. I can't get away with contact lenses, so I know it's a case of laser surgery or putting up with glasses for life and being unhappy. I do feel guilty spending all of that money on just me. What do you think, Anon? Oh, but is, that, is, is, is it like a joint account they got? I think it's... Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Look, if it is a joint account... And like, then obviously, you know, you've got a, that's got to be a decision between both I don't think laser you, eye surgery is selfish though, do you? Not at all. If you said to me, like, oh, I'm really struggling, like, with, like, just say, look, we're I'd be like, I want the engagement back. <laughs> yeah. He was like, fuck it. <laughs> I can't see how small it is anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you said to me, I, I need laser eye surgery or, or, or and that's put you, you engagement ring on hold, I'd be, I would literally, what? Um, what are you gonna say? I go. I go mental. What are you saying here? <laughs> so if I wanted eye surgery and said I'm putting the engagement back, what? 
What are you saying? I dump you. <laughs> she'd be in New York. <laughs> she New would know she'd York. be in New York. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen? I just don't even think that this is even a conversation. You just have your eye surgery, don't you? <clears throat> if you said to me, I've got you, you're this out of order. <laughs> Should have got a spec savings. <laughs> I think you look great. I'll be sitting here with pins on. She'll be like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guess like what happened to me? <laughs> all over the ground. I'll be like, what did happen? Uh, all four okay. eyes proposed. <laughs> <laughs> all four eyes proposed. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, I, you know you're, you're ruthless. You are ruthless. I'm in a ruthless mood today. You I don't are, know why. You? I can't, you God, sir. God's sake. This is... Uh, I know what I'd do. I'd be like, you get your eye surgery done. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to get engaged. You'd be <laughs> delighted. You'd be like, a way out. I, I wanted to get engaged, actually. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All by yourself? <laughs> um, I don't think it's selfish getting eye surgery. Mm. So I, I don't think you should be feeling guilty about anything. You know, your health comes first, like all joking aside. Yeah. You know, I, I'll joke saying I'd I'd want the ring over, you know, yeah. vision. <laughs> but um, I am joking. Contact lenses, contact lenses are a force. You know, he can't you know. wear contact. Do you have to pay for them? Yeah, yeah, you have to pay for that. Uh, uh, I reckon over the course of a few years, that pay itself off as well with the contact lenses. They're like hundreds of pounds a year. Can't believe that. Are they not on the NHS? No, the loads of money. If it was the girl, he needs to get engaged before. Get the eye. Say, say, Tracy, she couldn't see how the size of the diamond. <laughs> yeah, what if he gets surgery and goes, fuck me, look at the state of her? <laughs> Long sighted. <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> he'd, he'd, see that, he'd have his new eyes and he wouldn't have to get engaged for a month. <laughs> a month. <laughs> I hope we gave some good advice today. Oh, we definitely didn't. We definitely I hope didn't. we did. I think he can walk away with a few good quotes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. If it's not a hell yet, it's a no. Thanks, mm, Mark. That's an important one. What was the other one? Don't trust a man who doesn't like dogs, but trust a dog who doesn't like the man. Great quotes. Yeah. Do one more somewhere, won't they? Tune in Shabba. next week. Yeah. <laughs>